I have absolutely no idea how if you put a gun to my head and you tell and you tell me if you are unable to prepare a shoe like like the one you're wearing we kill you I will be dead I have absolutely no idea how to even begin approaching this task of manufacturing making the shoes that I'm wearing and that support me but 20,000 years ago or 50,000 years ago I had to know myself how to obtain the food that I'm eating. I had to know myself how to prepare the shoes or the clothes that I'm wearing. And even people helped each other, of course. So maybe there was somebody in the band who was a much be better at making shoes than I am. Of course, the human collective, humanity as, an, as a whole, knows today much more than the ancient bands 50,000 years ago. We know not only how to grow wheat and how to uh, make shoes, we know how to make spaceships and we know how to split the atom and make atom bombs and we know how DNA works and things like that. But we know that at the collective level, at the individual level, each of us knows much less than our great, great, great grandmothers and grandfathers, the ancient uh, uh, foragers, they were the most knowledgeable and the most skillful people in history on the individual level. There is in fact uh, some evidence that the size of the average sapiens brain has been decreasing gradually since the age of foraging. That after the agricultural revolution, when people started to live as peasants and farmers and later as workers and city dwellers, the size of the human brain began to shrink. Um, and there is good reason why, because survival in the era of foraging required superb mental abilities from everybody. If you couldn't know all these things yourself, you didn't survive. But when agriculture and industry came along, and when people started to live as peasants and, and city dwellers and, and so forth, people could increasingly rely on the skills of others, of complete strangers, for their survival, and thereby were opened kind of niches for imbeciles uh, that enabled even people with uh, lower mental abilities and smaller brains and less knowledge to survive. You could survive in a big city just by working a, a machine in a factory. You don't know much else about anything, but you know how to work this machine for 12 hours a day just making the same movement and you get your salary, your small salary, and you survive. Or in an agricultural village, you could be the village idiot who survives by carrying water in buckets from the river or from the well and the others pay you a little for this and you buy the, your food from them and this is how you survive and you pass your genes to the next generation and this is how over the centuries and the millennia it seems that the human brain in the last 10,000 years has been growing smaller and smaller.